Welcome to Louisiana Gardening Family. Today, I'm gonna try to get me a little watermelon patch made up. Well, I would like to call it a watermelon row. Uh, we're gonna take it straight to Tomato Paradise. I think this is gonna be about 20 feet. Uh, so what I wanna do is, with those 20 feet, I wanna get me 20 uh, watermelon vines, uh, 12 inches apart. And out of each vine, I'm only looking to get one watermelon so if I can get 20 vines to come up I'm not gonna let them sprawl out everywhere we're gonna do this thing what they call uh, vine pruning or cutting off or heading off the watermelon uh, after it uh, fruits its first watermelon we'll stop the vine there maybe a, about another foot in front of that and we'll stop the vine there and bring everything back so we won't have vines everywhere I saw it on uh, I believe it's LSD prepper uh, it's one of the prepper sites and the guy and this was one of the methods he was using though he was using it in a raised bed I'm gonna try it in ground I've never seen anybody do it in ground but I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna see how that takes so so instead of planting uh, five watermelon vines and having them sprawl out all over your yard because you're trying to get more watermelons how about we just plant more watermelon seeds or more watermelon vines and, and we can cut them off, have less green everywhere, less vines everywhere and actually get more better watermelons because uh, by having that, that one root system support only one watermelon, we're hoping that that's going to make that watermelon grow better, more juicier because it's going to concentrate all of its energy into that one fruit instead of I don't know a thousand leaves uh, so we'll, we will use some of the leaves we'll cut them off when we get enough leaves what we think will be good enough to support the plant uh, but other than that it's our first time fingers crossed let's go There's ways to get this grass out of your way. You can do it like this. Uh, if you look up here, you see a lot of these things have a lot of grass on them. The way they used to do it is they would dig it up, turn it over, and chop the head off. And then throw the grass on the side. And just let it die, and then they would add it back to the soil. Or you can actually just kind of like scape it off or scalp it off. This way makes the whole process a little easier, but it's more work on your back especially. But you don't have to wait for the grass to die out. Basically, once you take the grass off, you actually can turn over the soil. And you just turn it over just soil, and then you go ahead and till it up. So what we did was we did uh, about eight uh, spots were going to be four crimson sweet, four black diamond. If you look down, a little further down, I'll take you. These spaces are just watermelons we've collected over the years that we kind of like the flavor. Uh, There's going to be some sugar babies. Uh, I think one of them was like Charleston Gray, something like that. Uh, these we actually had growing in our raised bed and we kind of transplanted them hope that they make it and on the end we got two spots of some uh, real sweet watermelons that we got from Mississippi I don't even know the variety so as trail waters that in it took us from about 
I would say about eight o'clock to about four o'clock. All right, guys. It's the cool of the day, around seven o'clock p.m. And the kids have gone in. Everybody's gone in, and I'm kind of outside, and we're kind of just admiring the work, of what we've done. And these high rows, uh, what I hope is that they will mimic the mounds that they say that watermelons love to grow out of. I think these mounds are, it's mounded up pretty high. Uh, I'm liking it. And if you can see, I'll show you, this is ground level. I'll sit this on the ground. Turn it a little. So you can see how high up those mounds really are compared to the ground. So they're up pretty high. I would say at least uh, six inches, if not better. Uh, six to eight inches, if not more. So uh, if somebody's tried this, uh, let us know. Uh, how do they grow them out in the fields? Because I know they don't have like mounds, uh, circle mounds. So let me know if, if this is what they talk about when they say you want to mound up your rows or, or mound up your watermelons because this is pretty high. So uh, I hope that y'all enjoyed the work we put in. <laughs> Enjoy the content. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Louisiana Gardening Family. Uh, if you're in Louisiana, you see those guys on the side of the road with those watermelons? Stop by and give them a try. Peace. God bless.